back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Ta-da! This is my what I got for my birthday, 2023, turning the ripe old age of 28. I'm kind of like tiny down here because I really wanted the balloon in the uh, shot. So you're going to have to deal with me just like being down in the corner here. But I was so so spoilt this year i am absolutely grateful beyond words of anyone who sent me a card a gift a present a dm an email a message a text anything at all thank you so so much and i say this every year please do not think i am bragging but i love watching these types of videos because it gives me ideas for stuff that i might possibly think oh actually I could do with something like that in my life. Well, that's a good gift for like XYZ. So by no means am I bragging. I am just extremely, extremely lucky this year. I also do have the bits in here that I treated myself to. So shall we stop rabbiting and get in with the what I got for my birthday 2023? <laughs> right. I think we're going to start with Dada's bits. So Dada... I had kind of a theme. Mum and Dad asked me, was there any bits in particular I wanted? I said books. Straight away, I said books. Um, <laughs> and there was a little bit of a limit on the amount of books I could get. But I still did get quite a nice little amount. Well, not little because they are huge books. But I asked for books regarding true crime, of course. I asked for books regarding travel. And also, I really am trying to get back into my Japanese cooking. So I asked for a lot of books on like sushi and dim sum and everything like that, which some people might look at and think, well, that's weird, but it is something that I'm into at the moment and I want to carry on back into it. So Dada well and truly got the theme. Um, you might have seen in one of the bank holiday vlogs, there was a few of these bits actually that I picked up when I was in Tesco because I said to mum, oh, has dad got any bits? for like the sushi things and she was like well I can't tell you that and they had some Ken Hom bits in the south so I was like oh, do you think we could get them too so she gave him a call and he was like chuck them in so let's kick off with Dada's bits and as I say he did get the sushi theme very well pick this up in Tesco it was down to a fiver absolute bargain and it is a seven piece sushi set so you get the spoon chopsticks two mats and two little dipping bowls now, this is going to be absolutely perfect for when I make my sushi because you've got the rolls or you can also use the rolls as placemats. So when you're like um, serving them and everything like that, I can have it on there. So I got sushi roll. And then also, I did know about this because I ordered this off Amazon. I thought it was amazing. But what you do, is this the way? No, how do we do this? I need to remember how to do it, guys. So, ah, so you put your sushi rice in this, okay? So it's a sushi roller. You put your rice in that. You then put that into the rice. So it kind of creates the groove. And then it gives you your curve. You close it over. Oh, no. Ah, see, I'm learning. Put your rice in close it down and then you put both ends on clip it together and what it does is it forms the perfect indentation in your rice and then when you open it you can obviously put it in the roll put your ingredients in happy days so i got a sushi kit roll up and then i also i was very excited with this when i saw this had gone down in tesco i was like because oh, it was about 12 14 pound and it went down to was it six or eight six or eight pound and i was like please 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 and it is a two-tier bamboo steamer which you might think shan really but if you can see in the picture there you've got salmon on the bottom and then the veggies on the top that is exactly what i'm thinking of and yes 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 because i cannot wait to use that mum was like oh are you going to keep it for when you move out i was like no 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 like i really want to try and get back into my cooking with like dim sum and that so that is exactly what i need and perfect for doing fish um normally i would do like a fish fillet wrapped in greaseproof paper with maybe some lemon and thyme and oh it's delicious and then of course 
got us some matching chopsticks. I mean, you can't, oh, Canon, you're focusing on the balloon. <laughs> you can't have sushi or Japanese without the chopsticks. So I got the matching set of that, which when I opened that, as I say, I knew, actually, I knew all of those bits because they were the bits that I'd picked up on Amazon and that I had picked up at Tesco when we went. What I didn't know and what I was very happy with was the little extras. So you all know I love my sippy cup. Actually, this one I knew about too. I'm showing you the ones that I knew because <laughs> I ordered this on Amazon when I got the uh, sushi kit roller. You all know how obsessed I am with my sippy cup. Yeah, my sippy cup is what gets me to drink my water at the moment. You probably think it's very childish that a cup determines how much I actually drink of water, but I'm not going to lie. It does, guys, okay? And I saw this online and, as I say, I said to Dada, I was like, oh, I seen the sushi roller and he was like a sushi what i was like don't worry dada and then i was like i've seen a cup and it would be really good because i have like a series on my channel which is scandals with shan and i try and make everything like black and dark so now i have a black sippy cup guys i am so freaking obsessed with this this is 710 mil I can go through two of these in like half an hour. That's like 1.4 litres of water. So, so easy to get your water intake up with this. And I cannot wait, not just for water, for iced coffees. Oh, and it also comes with the little bottle cleaning brush. So that's very handy. But yeah, oh my God. I saw this. I was like, please, please, please. He was like, you want a cup? I was like, yeah. He's like, you want a cup and a rice roller? I was like, yeah. It was like, okay. Normally he's used to me saying, oh, well, I've seen this handbag or I've seen this pair of shoes. And he's just like, no. Now I saw this in, oh, what's that toy shop? Smith's, Smith's. And I said to my mom, I was like, oh, I was like, that looks fun. Now, if you know me, I love Cards Against Humanity. That is normally what I would always play on New Year's Eve. But this is Cards Against Disney. So mum got this from Dada because I can guarantee... Dada I didn't go out to Smice and get this. But when I opened it, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to see what insults are there. Mum was like, what do you mean insults? And I don't think she gets the gist of what this is going to be. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I saw some of the examples online and oh, I am ecstatic to have this in my life. It says four to 20 plus players, 17 plus in age and 30 to 90 minutes. And what have we got here? 10 cars. Should we just... I don't want to muddle them all up. Oh, my God. Red and white. I wonder what the difference is. Are they different? Oh, I think the red ones are the questions. So this one says, Prince Ali turns out to be merely whatever. And then the white ones must be the answers. Should we just have a look? Poker Hooters. Yeah, guys, I'm so excited. This this is going to be when me and mum... I know it says four players, but... Well, actually, you probably do need a few of you, do you? But me and mum can play that. I am so excited because if you know me, I, when I move out, want to have a big chest or like a big unit, cyborg, trunk, anything like that. And I want to have it filled with all like board games and card games and like little bits and bobs like bingo. I would always love a ball game when I was younger and we got rid of them all when I was about 12, 13 because I was like, I don't need board games um, and now I wish I'd kept them. So I'm slowly building my collection back up of board games and bits and bobs because I absolutely love them, okay? And then Dada stuck to the theme. I have a feeling mum picked these up in Waterstones because Waterstones or Tesco actually are fabulous for cookbooks. So... Starting off basic is sushi made simple from classic wraps and rolls to modern bowls and burgers. So again, we have a very, I just, I don't know what it is, guys. I love pictures of like Japanese food and sushi. Like for me, that is so appealing. It might not be to everyone. I completely get that. But for me, oh, absolutely love it. And look. Look at that. It's almost like a sushi scotch egg. Like, absolutely what? What is this? 
and I think it tells you at the beginning like your necessities so miso types of vinegar to have on and your equipment and that you need I I cannot wait just you watch there is gonna be plenty of sushi videos coming along and then there's another one the sushi the beginner's guide this one looks a little bit more simpler but when I had a flick through this is very intricate so this one actually kind of gives you step by step in the photos of the instructions so the other one will give you photos of the dishes at the end but this actually gives you like step by step and I loved it because when I looked at it before it's just got like it's everything that you need even down to like the tableware that you would have for Japanese cooking and sushi oh my goodness I almost just flicked that in my face so yeah two new cookbooks mum said when she was um going through dada's bits and obviously because does anyone else dad does not do his own shopping mum will go and get the bits and dada will literally just pay for it and write on the card and when mum was showing in the bits he was like why does she want cookbooks mum was like that's what she wants this i didn't ask for but i'm gonna ask mum when she picked it up i'm sure it would have been a waterstones potentially tesco's or even maybe asda because i know she went into the other town potentially asda and this is atsuko aikido otsumami japanese small bites and appetizers over 70 recipes to have with drinks and this guys is basically like japanese kind of like street food like japanese canapes you know and i'm trying to find because i know fish and raw fish isn't to everyone's liking so i'm trying to find something that could be appealing to all of you so say for example lamb miso chops like there is so much in here and this was i i did open this and i was like what is this and then when i started looking through i'm like oh it tells you how to make like your proper rice like exact quantities even with your sushi vinegar quantities that's what i need to do because i do kind of cut corners on like the vinegar side of it no more i'm not cutting any more corners i have my proper book there to tell me the only thing is mum said like with normal books sham where are you going to put them you have no more room for any cookbooks or books in general i was like hmm, i'll have to cross that bridge when i come to it mother and i think we have come to it i have got um shorts on guys that was just my bare leg and my bed socks but yes i do have shorts just in case anyone thought i was naked naked and just in my shirt absolutely not now these would have come from waterstones and i am so so happy with these so as i say i asked for like any books around travel um i thought mum might get me a few solo traveling books but that would make her have to come to terms with me going on another solo holiday which i don't think she's um i don't think she's quite set on just yet so i think she steered clear now these are by the brands lonely planet i do have one of these from years and years ago of like the greatest sights to see in the world this is the ultimate travel list for the united kingdom the top 500 experiences in the uk ranked now i these books just fascinate me and it gives me such such i don't know what it is just like right let's go there i mean that's why i love like my little london books and like my little pubs and everything like that shall we see what is the best thing that's been ranked in the uk see the greatest shows on earth at the edinburgh festival fringe that is number one. Oh my god number two number two is the british museum guys you know how much i love the british museum from a kid and then let's see what's been ranked number 500 500 is flip out on shrove tuesday at the only pancake race a pancake race and this is literally guys everything all over england there's stuff as you see from scotland we've got wales in here coniston water treader tre treader cheddar gorge wow oh my god that looks stunning where is this take the long road to iona for divine inspiration wildlife wonders and more oh my god that water is amazing the highlands and islands that's scotland <gasps> marooned in the middle of the sound of iona 10 minutes from mole 
The island has become an irresistible draw for people looking for a spiritual escape. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that beach. That is amazing. Oh my God. And you know what? It's probably very extreme. I would love to do each one of these and then get like a big scrapbook. I mean, I shouldn't talk about scrapbooks. I still haven't started my scrapbook from that I got before lockdown. We need to do with one scrapbook at a time. But I would love to go through this and then do a scrapbook and like put next door to each number like the experience. Love that. Absolutely love that. I think Dada was probably just looking to see where the Angel of the North come in on that. So I'm sure I will have to go through and tell him. And then this one. So I have the first edition of this. So it's going to actually be quite good to see how it's changed or what's um, maybe been added. So this is the second edition. It says new entries and ranking. The ultimate travel list of the 500 best places on the planet. That's a big statement, ain't it? Best places on the planet. Shall we see what is number one? Because I can't remember what was number one last time. And I love it as well because it gives you like a map of all the continents. So say, for example, Europe, you've got all of that. And then it has Asia and South Asia. Oh, Africa, Oceania. What have we got here? Oh, I didn't think that was that low. Right, number one, guys. Explore the enigmatic lost city of Petra. Now, I have heard Petra. It's in Jordan, I believe. And it is supposed to be, I don't know if it's one of the wonders of the world. See the islands that change the course of science. The Galapagos, number two, Ecuador. I thought the Great Barrier Reef was in the top three last, on the last book that I've got. Okay. Okay. This has changed. Oh, I'm going to have to look at my um, other one. I'll see the year of edition. Great Barrier Reef is number 11 now. I'm oh, sure it used to be a lot higher than that. I thought it used to be in the top three. And then what has been ranked as the 500th best thing in the world? What is it? Stand on the roof of the world in Tajik National Park. Tajik Stan. I mean, out of the whole world, to even still get to number 500 is great. So, yes, again, it was my travel bug. My travel bug was saying, like, Shan, you need to get these bits and bobs, okay? You need to get these bits and bobs. So, Dada, I was very, very spoiled, guy. Very, very spoiled. Indeed, he got me cookbooks. This got me my mug. Got me a steamer. You're probably thinking, how can you be so excited about a freaking steamer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right. Oh, no, he got me these as well. He did give me some murder books. He got me these three. And now these kind of give me vibes of my Jeffrey Dahmer book. We all know I don't normally have paperbacks. But I saw these, again, Waterstones, and I was like, hmm. So I put them on the list and mum was like, well, we'll see. She said, because I don't, Shan, I don't really like getting you these murder books. I was like, I know mum, but I like them. Oh, what's that noise? Is that Footloose back on a Sunday evening? Yes. So the first one is Inside the Mind of John Wayne Gacy, the real life killer clown. These, you see what I mean by the fronts of them? If you remember the front of my Jeffrey Dahmer one. And then this one is Conversations with the Killer and the Yorkshire Ripper. We've got him. And then this was one that a lot of you guys recommended to me. Ted Bundy, the only living witness. So, yes, Dada got, like, the books to a T. Well, I say Dada. Mama G would have gone out and Dada put his name to it. But, yes, Thank you very, very much. I doubt he'll be uh, watching this, but he knows it's appreciated. When I saw him today, I was like, oh, thanks for the presents. And he was like, hmm? I was like, the books? He was like, yeah. He's got no clue. No clue, bless him. Right, Mama G. Mama G, Mama G. Mum also got the memo with the sippy cups. Now, I know these were from Tesco. Guys, if you see them, pick your hands on them. I feel like they was... 750 down to potentially four or four pound fifty if you had club card. Ain't they the most perfect ones for summer? They're like two ombres. 
everyone knows the memo with these cups and if you know where i can get any other like color styles because i do feel like i will potentially end up owning one of these in every single color i just can't help it that's so so practical guys absolutely practical central and then oh mum got me a candle let's move down here you can't really see me can you there we go i can kind of scoot across the bed a bit more mum got me a little yankee candle that says happy birthday and you know what it smells like birthday cake oh it's tasty enough to eat but i can't I can't eat it and I really don't want to burn it just yet. So we're going to leave it be, okay? We're going to leave it be. Mum also got the memo, but the books that I asked for from Mum or like the books if she said a topic, I was like kind of like fake away style and stuff that's unusual, kind of like within the Japanese vibe, but maybe something a little bit different. So mum knows I love fake away books, okay? I've got all of my pinch of nom, which I absolutely adore the fake away sections of this. And this one, I think I've seen on Amazon before, it's Chris Babin Fake Away, Healthy Home Cooked Takeaway Meals. It's over a hundred recipes. And when I looked through these, yes, absolutely. There is so many sections. So at the beginning, you have Taste of India, Thai Cafe, Japanese joint, Middle Eastern kitchen, Chinese canteen, pizzeria, taqueria, the diner, chicken shop, and the chippy. And I, I love this. I mean, look at that prawn biryani. You guys know I love a biryani. Absolutely love a biryani. And oh, what was that? Is this like falafel? Tabbouleh, salmon and tabbouleh salad. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. See? books galore everyone was getting the memo and then because i am trying to get back in the health kick i am trying to like get a little bit more protein in my system as opposed to just drinking the protein drinks mum got me a protein cookbook okay this is scott bakti the ultimate high protein handbook 80 healthy delicious easy recipes for all the family look at them this is just when i saw this i was like i didn't even know you could get a protein handbook but something like this for example right what have we got here chicken pilau rice chicken biryani 482 calories but 39 grams of protein yes please get in my belly oh my god it looks like there's sushi rolls on the back it looks like there's sushi rolls indeed silky beef orange beef oh and again it's all different sections like this one oh, lose less lentil 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 curry i really am gonna start getting into my uh cooking again guys i know i'm in it once a month but i do like to cook every now and again but this is really gonna be oh my god 30 minute chicken and bacon risotto eight grams of fat and 43 grams of protein oh yes please oh my goodness these are kind of going to be like my little versions of hello fresh because as i say we all know i absolutely adore hello fresh but sometimes it can be a little bit pricey so these are perfect for me to just go and try my own i was so so excited when i saw this because i have tried to get my hands on this and it has been sold out everywhere we all know the hype with the air fryers at the moment and i'm not surprised this is the air fryer cookbook quick healthy and delicious recipes for beginners by jenny tashescu i think 101 tried and tested recipes guys if you see this anywhere oh my god just pick it up and have a look inside when i tell you i am so excited arancini yes please it tells you from snacks and fries meat chicken fish bacon and desserts like look at that spring rolls in the air fryer i am see you're probably sitting here thinking oh my goodness how can she be so excited about a cookbook i really am guys i actually really am you probably think it's really sad of me but i could sit and go through recipe books for days on end i would actually love it oh my god it's got the scotch eggs 
Should I actually try the Scotch eggs from the cookbook and see how they go? Yes. If you are not into cooking or basically don't care about cooking, I'm sorry because you're going to find it very boring for what I got for my birthday because mum and dad literally did get me mainly cooking books. This one, I think mum saw this, probably didn't realise what it was and just picked it up because of the colour. But I'm not mad at it. She got me the Island Pokey Cookbook, recipes fresh from Hawaiian shores, from Pokey Bowls to Pacific Rim Fusion. Now, if you remember, I loved doing my burrito bowls. And I think mum thought this was like it, which it very much is. However, it's only a slight difference because it's more raw seafood. So let me just see. And it also gives you like crab cakes, taco recipes, burgers. It's not just the poke bowls. But if I try and find you... Pokey nachos. Look, see something like this. A beef tri-tip pokey bowl. It's basically just loads of little bowls. And you can customise it to whatever you want to put in there. Like that. Oh, I would... That is me in a pokey bowl, but without the beetroot. We don't be doing beetroot over here. So, yeah, I just think... And I loved the spine of it i just thought it was so so cute baby pink yes please so yeah a lot of my presents was very heavy to lift hence you know why now and she didn't stop there she got me two books actual books and she must have read the blurbs of these and thought yes that's right for shan so the first one she got me is from an author called alex north and it's called the half burnt house and it says will terrify you and break your heart they say when the wind blows, it sounds like a scream. And from what I gather on this, it's kind of like a murder, kind of thriller. It says that Katie Shaw always looked after her Timmy younger brother, Chris, until she left him alone for one carefree afternoon. Chris was savagely attacked and that picture-perfect family fell apart. And it goes into a little bit more detail, but I don't want to try and read too much in case I give it away for myself, but... The text, you're probably thinking, really weird one, Shan, but the text is a good size. There are chapters. There's a decent amount of chapters. And, yeah, this is going to go for the pile. I feel like I will read something like that maybe, like, September, October time. And then mum said to me the other day, have you read your trilogy book set yet? I was like, what one? She says, the one of the tattooist in Auschwitz. I was like, hmm. Not yet. I've got the Tattooist of Auschwitz, Silka's Journey, and Three Sisters. But I said, I do want to get into them, but it's got to be when I have plenty of time to read because they're big books, and also I really want to, like, get engrossed in the story. So she got this one, and it's called The Survivor. Joseph Lukowski with Michael Calvin, and it says, How I survived six concentration camps and became a Nazi hunter. Heartbreaking and inspiring, a profound and courageous book. So this is a true story, which you know if it's a true story, absolutely, I love it. And it says, one of the last great untold stories of the Holocaust, the survivor is an astonishing account of one man's unbreakable spirit, unshakable faith and extraordinary courage in the face of evil. I'm actually really looking forward to this. And again, we've got nice sizes, we've got paragraphs, we've got chapters. So I feel like I need to have one two three four months where i can fully read the whole box set of the tattooist of Auschwitz, silka's journey and three sisters and then read that and like kind of envelop it all in one we'll say and then oh i squealed when i opened this i was like oh my god mum was like that is the right man ain't it i'm like yes you know who it is if you know me, you know me. Mum got me the vinyl of Sonder. If you're thinking, what the hell is Sonder? I went to see Dermot Kennedy in April at the O2. I love Dermot Kennedy, okay? I absolutely love it. And it was the Sonder tour. And Mum got me the vinyl. And you know why I squealed so much? Because it says it's on exclusive white coloured vinyl. I haven't got any coloured vinyl. All of my vinyls are the classic black. This is my first coloured 
final. I'm I'm actually ecstatic. When I opened that, I was like, oh, I don't want to open it. Actually, should we open it? I say I don't want to open it, and then I just I'm like, oh, because it's been sitting there, and I'm just like, I need to see, I need to see the goodness now. Oh, can I? Yes, I've got the strength. Isn't it amazing? Now I don't have strength. Uh, strength. Yeah, I don't have strength for half the things I need. Me trying to crack into a record, and I'm like, yes. I'm like superhuman strength. I mean, it's really not. You're just literally pulling cellophane off sham. But you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Let's put it in there because if you'd have seen the birthday vlog, mum was there with the little uh, bag for all the rubbish. That is me today. Oh, oh my God, it's in a sleeve as well. Oh my God, what's this in here? Oh, oh my God, you actually get like a... Oh, don't he look lovely? Right, let's put that in there. And then... Guys, it's a white vinyl. It's a white vinyl. Oh my God. You are going straight back in that sleeve because I do not want to damage you. That, I'd been happy just with that. Something like that, which people probably think, well, it's just a vinyl. Oh, my God, no. Guys, that guy, a lot of you on the vlog said, oh, I've never heard of Dermot Kennedy. And then a few videos after, you're like, I've listened to him. Oh, my God. How have I not heard of him? I'm like, literally, I am obsessed. Now, this I'm very happy with. I have been on the hunt for this for ages. And I feel like mum got it. We've got like a little techie shop near us. And I feel this is something you would get from the techie shop. And it's basically kind of like a maintenance kit for a laptop or an iPad. So you have a brush, a spray bottle, a keycap buckle, a little cover, and then a multifunctional cleaning pen and flannelette. Because my laptop is kind of, it's not getting a bit grubby, but like my little keypad covers, not exactly the best and everything like that. So, oh, this is fab. Oh, how'd you open it? Oh, well, that's the brush. Oh, my God, that's so soft. Oh, so you've got that. That then retracts. How do I get this off? Oh, that's a screen demister as well, guys. So that would that's the little bottle. Oh, oh no, I thought I broke it. <laughs> a key pad unbuckler. You've got something else in there. You've got a spray bottle. Oh, what was that again? That looks funky. That's the multifunctional cleaning pen. Cleaning pen? Oh, oh, that's satisfying, ain't it? To get in all your nooks and crannies in the uh, laptop. <gasps> See, I'm definitely an adult now, ain't I, guys? I'm getting excited about cleaning equipment for my laptop. Yes. Yes, Shannon, you are indeed. You're getting... Is it going in? There we go. Are you going in? Nope, how do we get you in? You going like that? Done it. Might be 28, but I still ain't got a clue how I had to work things. <laughs> but yes, I was looking for that, so I think she got that probably from our little tech shop, but I will leave it linked if I can find one similar online. And then in terms, as I say, because my laptop was getting a little bit it needed a bit of a change and my iPad. You would have seen I've had my S iPad cover probably, I think, was it from Christmas? So it's done half a year and it's starting to look a little bit, a little bit worse for wear. Again, I feel like this was got from one of the little tech shops. I get a little pen with it. But guys, look, I actually really, really enjoy this. It says success, hard work, persistence, late nights, rejection, sacrifices, discipline, criticism, doubts, failure and risk. How nice is that? How nice is that? And it's a little tab one. And oh, what is this? Can I like? Oh, it's so it don't move. Oh my God, that's genius. It don't move. Something is falling. It's just that. You know, when you're hearing, I'm like, oh, <gasps> love that. So mum got me a new iPad case, which was very much needed. And then she also, which, oh, 
she, I thought so because she was asking me the sizes and like the models of my stuff and I'm like what do you need to know that for she's like no no I just I just need to have a look I'm like okay this I feel is me completely to a T so I've got a new keyboard cover which is fabulous because my pink one has most definitely seen better days and then in terms of the actual top it's the world and she said I kind of thought that tied in with the iPad case because like you do all of your stuff on your laptop and your iPad to travel and I was like that is actually such a great analogy mother yes yes it is that is why I do what I do so I can travel and make memories and it just fell down it just fell down we're gonna pop you there so yeah I actually really I really like that analogy so I can change over my iPad case change over my laptop case we are good to go and then also again I think she got it from the local tech store I am very excited for this so who's buzzing me excuse me I'm reading oh no Uber Eats no can't have Uber Eats this is called an Octopad and it says for audio video and photographic equipment and basically it is for phones cameras LED light speakers anything like that but it is a huge weight so I'm thinking of this to put on my dashboard dashboard like you know your dash bit in the car and hopefully I can put my camera I don't know if I'm going to be able to put my camera with the screen up which is why I was on the hunt I might treat myself to a camera at Christmas where the screen comes to the side but that'll be that's like a thing later down the line and so I could potentially do like a drive with me or when I'm vlogging on my own I could potentially pull up in a safe space set it up and then drive say for like three four minutes just get enough footage to time lapse and then pull in turn it off and that so i'm very excited actually to try this and i might even potentially try it when i go away with dada we shall see i'm thinking how does it go on with a smartphone but i have the adjustable like a mount for it to go on so yeah we shall see i thought that was a very good thing and something again mum was asking like what's that thing you want for the car and i was like oh like a um uh camera holder she was like hmm okay and she got me one more vinyl which was the vinyl modern pop and again it has dermot kennedy on it so i think she just saw dermot kennedy and was like yep yeah, she'll love that but the main present from mum this year oh can i stretch over Oh no, I'm dropping it guys, I'm dropping it. Mum got me, can I get it? Can you get it? Yes you can. Can I get it? Yes you can. Mum got me another backpack. So ecstatic. I had a few lounge flies on my list and I was like, will she, won't she? There was a Lilo and Stitch one and I was like, I don't know. I don't know with mum sometimes, but I think she knows the utter joy I get out of my other one. And when I saw this, I was just like, oh my God, this is the purse. Look, it's when she's reading to him. And then the back page is when they have their little dance. Oh! And inside we have loads of silica gel, but it is simply just yellow inside with their faces inside because if you know last year mum got me the lounge fly one which is the castle and i wore it when we went to see beauty and the beast the musical and i'm like i absolutely love it i get some strange looks but i really don't care i really don't care guys and the backpack it actually makes me emotional okay it actually makes me emotional the back bit hmm the back bit is gaston okay we don't really care about gaston what we care about is we have mrs pots and chip we have cogsworth and lumiere and then on the 
front we have the different pieces so we have when she's in the town and everyone's talking and then that dance and then when she's got a little coat on and it's like there's something sweet and you was kind and he was mean and he was coarse and I'm refined but now he's dear and so I'm sure I wonder why I never saw it there before oh my god cute absolutely adorable and as I say I was in my absolute element and it's all matching on the inside all with the yellow and you know what that's really spacious you get a lot of stuff in this so Thanks, Mum. Absolutely ecstatic. Ecstatic, ecstatic, ecstatic. I am going to like shimmy myself around and then we can get into the bits that I got from some of you guys, which I am absolutely gobsmacked about. People that I close as close, class as close, close friends. I have stuff from work colleagues and yeah, let me get back into it. Right. The balloon has kind of popped up, but. The balloon was from Mama G, as we all saw in the vlog. The flowers that you see behind me, I have a huge bunch here and a huge bunch there. You would have seen them in full on the birthday vlog. And just my pure amazement at receiving them from a very, very dear friend who spoilt me, to say the least. And yeah, I never really get flowers. If I get flowers, it's normally like a little bunch from Tesco, which I am more than happy with. Tesco do some blooming gorgeous flowers and M&S today I had a look in they had some lovely little croissants but yeah I was very very luckily um gifted a huge bunch and you can see a lot of you have told me the things there's croissants there's peonies there's gerberas you guys told me we have lilies the roses the daisies oh so so many right first off you would have seen me open this and then I quickly hid it because I was like, no, 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 I need to show it on this. This is from very, very kindly Cara and Mama Ebbs. And they just know me to a T. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous gin glass. Like, actually gorgeous. When I opened it, I was like, oh! I was like, is it that obvious that your girl likes the gin? And just look at the design of that, guys. It's got lavender, I believe, down on it. And, oh. It does actually tell you on the side, like juniper berries, it tells you how to make, I think, your own gin with the, what well, not preservatives, but like the flavourings. So, yeah, I saw this and I was just like, oh my God. So, thank you so much once again. You will be seeing that popping up in vlogs because we all know if it's alcoholic, it's got to be in a gin glass. If it's non-alcoholic, it will be in a sippy cup. But, yeah absolutely love that i'm gonna put that there because heaven forbid you fall over i do not want that another one of my lovelies i we speak a lot about like books and our true crime and what we're reading at the moment and just life in general we have a really good catch up this was from one of my friends jenny and again she knows me to a t i love this talking with female serial killers and it's by christopher berry d now this was the author who wrote the jeffrey dharma book and i really really enjoyed his style of writing so i mean i just know i'm absolutely gonna love my life it's a chilling study of the most evil women in the world love it absolutely love it and then oh my god when i saw this i was like <laughs> she very very kindly got me the after book series now if you know me i love the after films but i haven't seen the latest one and i think there's another one potentially coming out so i need to catch up on the films but apparently the books are so much better so i'm thinking if i go away i might actually take one of these if i finish my book in time before i go away for my detox i might I'm probably going to end up taking the serial killer one though, ain't I, knowing me? There's me thinking, let's take like a nice love story and I'm, like, I'm going to take the serial killer when I'm on my own in a part of the world I've never been in. But I didn't even know, it says on here a before. I never knew there was a before the after. But yes, thank you so, so much. I was like, oh, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. I don't know who to go next right 
one of my lovely friends from work got me oh my goodness can you stop beeping please i do oh guys we're gonna have to put you on the bed because i don't know why you're bleeping so much no idea one of my lovely friends at work actually got me a thomas sabu thomas sabu i don't know how you say it very dainty chain that you can actually put charms on so i am very much looking forward to potentially having a charm necklace now so it's a lovely dainty silver chain which you can perfectly wear on its own because i am looking i have my cross but i worry sometimes with the cross i don't want anyone to come across and like yank it so that is for special occasions this i would wear from work not saying that if someone yanks this but this i feel like i could maybe tuck away a bit more at work whereas the cross i like to have it on show but yeah i got that which was very kindly given to me and then my girl brogan you would have seen me open this on the vlog i love this girl with all my heart it says side by side or miles apart friends are always close at heart and this girl is basically like my sister from another mister we are inseparable and i had this on my birthday and as i say if you watch the vlog she was not happy because she had ordered something and then there was a palaver thing but she got me something from the white company i'm like girl you're spoiling me you absolutely spoiling me and i i did open this on the vlog as well as i say so if you've seen it you know what's in here but i cannot wait to get this out she got me a candle and the scent is called oak moss and it's oak moss sandalwood and amber and guys when i tell you this has got the cover on and i can smell this through it is the most gorgeous like fresh almost spa aftershave vibes and i just absolutely love it i absolutely love it and she just spoiled me i like facetimed her straight facetimed i voice noted her straight over and was just like thank you thank you thank you i was just like you have spoiled me like it's the little things like i am so happy like that mug would have been far more than enough because it come from her but yeah absolutely love that gal to pieces as i say the wording on that it it did get me a little bit because we literally live the polar opposites of the uk i am here she is all the way up in edinburgh and it's not like we're like 10 minutes around the corner you know but who knows what the future holds eh? and who knows who knows where we could be next year but nah, love you lots thank you so so much and i even i keep her little gift card and everything on there it's just so so cute I honestly, I feel very overwhelmed and very, very grateful looking at all this. So if you think, Shane, you're going a little bit doolally, it's because I'm very much like, you know, like you're trying to take it all in because I do feel extremely lucky. And as I say, to have all of you guys, mwah, thank you so, so much. And then I was very, very spoiled. One of my friends gave me this and I was just like, mm don't open it to your birthday i was like okay okay i opened the box and i saw this and i was like what and this is something so i have lists and i have lists of items that i would like to buy when i achieve something and this was something that was kind of on a wish list for me and it was if i achieved something within this year this was what i was going to treat myself to but they treated it to me for my birthday and i've actually gone today and had it resized so that it fits it is the classic chronograph ceramic vivian westwood watch and now you're probably thinking shan you have a vivian westwood watch i have a gold steel one but I have had this white one on my list for ages because it is a dupe of the Chanel. And now the Chanel is, oh, that's pricey. I think the Chanel is like five or six grand. And by no means is this a cheap watch, which as I say, when I saw it, I was just like, what? No, I couldn't accept it at first. And they was like, you take it. I was like, 
oh my goodness guys I'm probably really cack handed showing you this I am really cack handed showing you this but it is honestly absolutely stunning and I took it to the watch lab this morning and they took out four links so I can wear it but yeah absolutely gobsmacked when I opened that and I was like thank you they know who they are thank you thank you thank you and I was just a flummox you know when you just think like is this real are you pranking me because I was actually gonna buy that for my birthday slash like a holiday present and I dropped like I kind of said to this person I was like I don't know what color I should get black or white black or white and it was always like just wait just wait like because you're not that fully decided but white was always white was the first one and white is always the original Chanel that I liked so I think I always knew I was swaying more towards white and they got it right so yes absolutely spoiled and then what do I go right let's go no we won't do that I'm going to go in from presents from two very dear friends who you guys will probably notice and see in the comments this first bag is from a very dear friend Rosina thank you very very much and honestly guys it makes me smile so much because you genuinely watch my videos and it's like you know me to a T you know me better than I know myself so it is quite scary sometimes first off we have I have never seen this size before Yankee Candles Coconut Beach and when I tell you this is like holiday in a candle oh my god best believe Canon there we go best believe these are going to be being burned probably in August time to really get me in the holiday spirit but i've never seen this size before honestly like where you guys all find this i'm like how because i can't find it and then she also got me the matching coconut crush re-diffuser you know me i love a matching set coconut i'm gonna be smelling like oh what's the um not on bracelet hawaiian tropic i'm gonna be smelling hawaiian tropic in my room left right center also to go along with the tropical vibe tropical splash tea lights oh yes very much like a holiday theme i love this i am so gonna be getting into the holiday spirit now the hair's done we're like on a three month countdown i mean i was doing really good with like my walking and dieting and bits and bobs like that but after today the amount of drinks i've consumed hmm yes 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 let's say that oh my god when i saw this this is just gorgeous so you guys know that i've been saying i want to try and get back into like my crystals and learning about my beads and that look at this gorgeous crystal like topaz bracelet and i'm gonna read into this because i believe this is all the stones of the chakra if it is actually i will speak to rosina later i feel like this is all to do with your chakra so I feel that is something that I'm going to have to wear daily to try and keep me zen, you know? Just try and keep me put together and not lose my shizzle. This, <laughs> you guys know I love a new sponge and especially when it's in a case because for travelling, this is ideal. And she got me a new Real Technique sponge in the little case. I mean, this is just me to a t practicality you know you this is where i know you guys know me better than i know myself what am i always going on about my reusable face pads and these oh my goodness when i tell you the softness of these these are going to be perfect for when i do my clinique for my eye makeup and i love the little bag they come in so so cute a little drawstring and not even that i need to find out where missy got these because look at the size of these face cloths. This, I could probably wash my whole body in this. Well, that's probably an exaggeration, Shab. But you know what I mean? These are huge. You don't get these this big anymore. And you know what I love? They've got a hanger on them. So you know what? I would love to have hooks. I mean, prob mum probably wouldn't because there's not enough space. I'd love to have like hooks with all of these up. I need to know where you get all this stuff. Because I'm just, you know what I'm thinking? Like, oh my God. I could have these in like if they done other colours. 
I'd get all the other colours. And then I could just have a row. A row of nice face cloths. And they're so soft. I think these are going to be getting put to uh, good use tonight when I have to take this amount of slack off. And then this. Oh my god. When I opened it, I was just like, you know me too well. I always have my pearls on today i have my little um trizzle ones but i normally always live in my pearl earrings and they are just my little primark ones and i was like you know what i'm gonna try and look for some like nice little pearl earrings i don't have to look she got me a set of three from iris and lily london and these are sterling silver freshwater pearl earrings but there's three colors so you have the original the pink and a black honestly when i opened this i was just like yes so i cannot i'm gonna have a nice bath tonight i've done my hair my hair is freshly done we're gonna probably put a little bit of dry shampoo in which i am gonna quickly address this i'm not gonna take up too much time because it is my birthday video if anyone is offended with my use of dry shampoo aka the fact that i probably live in it please please feel free to remove yourself i had kind of had not a big car i got quite a very I'm all here for constructive criticism and everyone has their opinion but what I won't tolerate is the rudeness of some people and I had a comment from someone who was so outraged by my use of dry shampoo to the point that I was told I didn't have any dignity because I didn't wash my hair often. Um, Mum should get some dignity. What is her excuse because she's retired? She has the time to do this. We have far bigger things going on in our life than worrying about the condition of our hair. If I didn't work the hours that I worked in my job and then in amongst this, I would love to do a nice hair mask every other night, chill, put my argan oil in, but I can't, okay? And if dry shampoo can give me the result instead of spending an hour washing and drying it, I'm going to go with the dry shampoo. So if that offends you, I do apologise, but I am still going to use my dry shampoo, okay? Moving swiftly on, the last thing, oh absolutely guys it's a teddy bear made of roses look at that i'm sorry i need to rearrange my whole dressing table now because this needs to go on with my other roses okay the blue roses this needs to go with it and i'm just and i love the little bow just for you so thank you so so much rosina honestly i'm just flummoxed absolutely flummoxed and then, again, someone else you guys will probably see regular in the comments is another dear friend, Caroline. Caroline also absolutely spoiled me. And I was just like, how, what, what have I done to deserve this? Honestly, people's generosity baffles me. You would have seen this in the vlog, this particular item. This was a self-inflating balloon. And guys, I had so much fun trying to work this out. It's a little thing and she said to me on an email, when you get it, there's a self-inflating balloon. Push down hard on the thing in the middle. Well, do you think I could do that? And then I'd done it and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's working, it's working. And look, it's my birthday. I love that. I'm keeping that until it deflates. I think that is so, so cute. So you know me, I am easily entertained by the simple things in life, ain't I? An inflatable balloon, I'm all there. Have a look. and i keep all of the cards as well guys like i do love all the cards and i got a photo of chester look that is going straight up on the fridge as well so i do what's that oh dada dada i don't know why he seems to be i was sitting that today because we went for our birthday meals and he was taking photos of his drinks and i'm like dada are you turning into instagram and now he's just messaging saying can you send me the photo of the food and the drinks please i think it's probably because he wants to show his friends at work bless him. right caroline first thing a little bunny so what with this and the bear i am going to have a whole new dressing table arrangement i can't wait to pop you out you are going there and ah oh, you know me too well again Haribo Baller Sticks Strawberry Flavour. You know what? It's Mother Nature today. I feel these are going to get cracked open because the amount of food and the amount of alcohol, I need several of these. This has actually got water and juice in at the moment because I need hydration. Mm. Hydration is key. 
and the only thing swimming through my body right now is cocktails oopsie skincare we all know i love a bit of skincare she kindly picked me up skin techniques gold hydrogel collagen eye masks these are all going to be going in for a pamper evening you know pamper all the way this i'm really excited to try this it's called twin peaks i've never heard of it before it says inspired by the wrecking and urkel hills it's milk chocolate with almond and honey nougat 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 i don't know how you quite say that but yeah new a little bit of candy which again you could be coming in handy tonight let me tell you that see this is the thing rosina and caroline know me so well because i got more tea lights so i am well and truly stocked up for my uh caribbean onset for holiday eh? the month of august my room is going to be smelling like tropical pina colada goodness let me tell you that this actually very needed because i actually broke my other one this is a usb charging hose table lamp yes 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 we all know guys i'm back into my reading and sometimes i don't like to have my big light on but sometimes my lamp when i turn away i can't get me blooming light so this i can clip onto my book and i'm good to go all right i could even probably clip it onto the top of my bed frame which is what i used to do to my other one but my other one i kind of dropped down the back and then yeah it just didn't work anymore and i've just chipped my nail oh no we'll deal with that after we've got more important things to do my lovelies right this i'm going to pick up a cushion cover because this is gorgeous not a cushion cover i'm going to get the cushion because look at this gorgeous cushion cover it's all sunflowers absolutely love that so i was like you know what i'm going to go into the range one day next week i'm going to get the measurements and i'm going to get myself a cushion cover and then that actually would go fabulous with my bee bedding when it goes on that will be like an august vibe i think mm, yes it will indeed more skincare bless her she absolutely knows me the skin techniques gold hydrogel collagen lip mask rejuvenating and plumping yes please save me going to go and have all that filler i mean not had any filler for years and years but it's always in the back of my mind you know and then the gold hydrogel collagen face mask so i can do my whole face my under eyes and my lips so i should be looking plump like i've had a face full of botox and filler and looking probably like, like 18 and not 28 years old that i am now a whole decade since i was 18 that's scary that is absolutely scary this i loved absolutely adored it it's a little tea light holder but it's got this piece of like netting around it and it gives me like angel wings vibes and i just love it absolutely love it i think that will go up by my tv go up there prior to place so i can see this now i don't want to fully get it out because i'm not gonna be able to get it back in but she got me it's a reusable tote bag i believe i got it out on when i opened it and i kind of gathered out the shape and i was like oh nope I'm not opening it until I need it because damn as hell, I'm not going to be able to put that back. If that is not a tote bag, Caroline, please tell me because otherwise I'm going to look a complete fool. But I feel like it's a shopping bag. I feel like it's a shopper's bag, which, ah, excited. Right, I know we're in June, okay? But there is never a wrong time to have peppermint or candy canes. And these are peppermint flavoured candy spoons, which, oh, guys. You know I love my candy canes when I fancy doing a hot chocolate. You know what I'm going to be using to stir it with. Or I probably will just sit there and demolish these. Yeah. Sit and demolish them. Oh, let me change the battery. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. And again, <laughs> I swear like Carolina is... Carolina? Caroline and Rosina know me so, so well. I also got more makeup remover cloths you ladies have absolutely spoilt me and that means i can go through and i'm not gonna have any more rancid ones i've got lovely fresh ones gray pink best two colors and yeah absolutely love it this oh my god you know i love to read you know i'm all about the harry and megan drama she very kindly picks me up the finding freedom harry and megan and the making of the modern royal family 
I am actually very intrigued to read this because I've kind of stuck away from reading the royal books. I know I have the Queen one and the one about Queen Margaret, no, Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, her and her sister. And there's one about Harry and William. But I haven't read any of them yet because I think with everything going on, I don't want to get misconstrued. I have tried to stay away from the Harry and Meghan, but this has been on my list because I'm like, I need to hear all about it. I need to hear about it. Like, I also... I'm very humming and hawing about the Harry Spare book. If you've read it, let me know. Don't give me any spoilers, but is it worth the read? That's what I need to know. But this, again... Oh, actually, could this be something I take away with me? Guys, when I go on my way on my retreat, I'm not going to want to come back. So I'm going to have so many books I want to delve into. Who knows? But again, all of the books, they will be going in my book pile. And as and when, you will see it when I'm reading them. Because I will let you know of course, in the monthly favourites. This, I just, this was so, so cute. I, oh, she got me a mug and it's got me on it with my green hair. Look, it's me at Christmas, my happiest time. And you know what? I sometimes forget what I look like with different colour hair. Like when I had this done, I come out and I was like, oh, and it's probably been like, eight months since I was last like this but for me it's years I feel looking at myself I'm like 21 year old Shan again and obviously I'm not so I'm actually this is going to go in my little memory cupboard and when I'm feeling a bit like meh this is the mug that I'm going to go to because I'm going to be like yes you didn't look too bad Shan eh? you didn't look too bad and then look at this I am so so excited for this she got me an absolutely gorgeous watch. And it's kind of like a Chakra Mandala style. Love it. And again, you know me, I love white for my watches. So you will be seeing this on my wrist a plenty, you know, because absolutely love it. And I have been well and truly spoiled. Like, thank you so, so much once again, Caroline. As I say, I asked her because her dog's birthday is actually the day before mine. So I was like, hope Chester had a good birthday. He did. He looked ever so handsome in his little pictures. And he sounded like he had a blast for his dinner and his breakfast. Good old him, mate. Eh? I think, what was it? Bacon and eggs? I was like, yes, you go, Chester. Mm. But thank you so, so much to everyone Honestly, guys, even if you've left the comments, which I'm still going through the comments, there is a lot, but I'm catching up. Anyone who left a comment, sent a DM message, anything at all in relation to my birthday, thank you so, so much. And I definitely, definitely did feel the love. Now, I treated myself to a few bits. <laughs> First thing, my feet needed to feel some love. Guys, if you've seen the... Maybank holiday vlog I feel it was in the Maybank holiday and also partly my birthday vlog you will know I had a disaster when I went to London to the point where my feet are still cut I went to Marco Pierre White's restaurant me and mum went and I decided I wanted to do towards Harrods and as we was in Harrods I was like my feet are hurting by the time we left Harrods I was like no my feet's hurting we had to look out on the main strip by Harrods. All I could see was a Tommy Hilfiger or a Ted Baker. They was all slider types. I couldn't have anything because the slider would have literally just cut into the same place where I was taking the uh, shoe. I needed flip-flops. So we went back into Harrods, went up to Shoe Heaven. I'm walking down Shoe Heaven. Dior, Prada, Louis Vuitton. I'm like, oh my God. I just want like Ugg slippers, anything. We saw the Ugg slippers. Far far too expensive for my liking we saw Birkenstocks Birkenstocks are probably double since I last got a pair and then I was walking through and the last thing it kind of come out of nowhere and was like hallelujah was Kurt Geiger and if you know I got ripped a new bum hole for getting these but you know what I'm gonna wear them I'm gonna wear these sandals to death so yeah this was a uh, for my feet because my feet well and truly needed love that night on our first trip to harrods when me and mum went down i picked up their airbrush 
flawless finish. This was my Charlotte Tilbury powder. You guys know that I'm hitting pan on my other one and I so desperately needed a top up, which, oh my nail, need to get a bit of nail glue and stick that down, which I needed a top up and I was very, very excited that I did. I also got myself a little lipstick. Again, I wanted something that I could look back on and know it was like a statement like a nice birthday gift and it's going to be a statement lipstick for me so they gave me this free little lipstick holder as well which i mean look at how bougie that is they gave that to me i was like oh wow thank you i picked up the rouge dior in shade 80 which is red smile and i got it in the satin finish i just wanted a classic red lipstick for holiday really so you know what this is going to go pride of place on my dressing table and it's going to be something i look back and i think you know what i've got that 28th birthday but i got it it's weird the color i wanted being shade 80 because that would have been nana's age if she hadn't sadly passed a few days before her birthday and i thought hmm, you know what i am gonna smile for your nana for 80 and i treat myself to a little lipstick nan used to love a red lip absolutely love a red lip and then i did treat myself oopsie so first things first i got some little books again yes books in harrods you're probably thinking what on earth i got some little books because they actually really they resonated with me so I was like, you know what, we're going to pick them up. I got a little book, Gemini. You know me, I am a Gemini. And if you if you know me, you know I love an absolute book on anything to do with Geminis. Because I feel I am a Gemini through and through. I absolutely do believe I am a Gemini through and through. But I just really like reading all of this. Like As I say, I'm trying to get back into my crystals and bits and bobs like that. And I really like these types of books and... Um, what was my other book I had up there? I've got my Chakra book and I've got my Zodiac book and I've got a Zen book. Now I have my Gemini book. And then, because I got the Dior lipstick, I love these The Little Book Of. But I kind of want to get ones that have meaning to me. So I thought, you know what? Because I picked up the Dior lipstick, I got The Little Book Of Dior. And it's basically just a book on the fashion house and how they started and like how it's grown throughout the years what they've developed into and everything like that and then I got the little book of Christian Louboutin so they also do Chanel, Gucci, Prada, there was Cartier, there were so so many in there and this of course is his evolution with the shoes and moving on to beauty and everything like that. If you know me and you saw the vlogs I was very humming and hawing about treating myself to a Tom Ford perfume. That is extremely expensive. And I got there and I just, I couldn't justify it in the end. I was just like, no, that will be something I think I'll get myself when I'm 30. So a couple of years wait, but it'll be worth it. I had in my mind about the Christian Louboutin lipstick, but I also had this on my wish list and I was like, I'll see it in person, see if it's like viable. So I went there, they didn't have the shade of lipstick I like that. Now varnishes though, I must say. Tiny little pot and then the tall spike. Gorgeous. I saw this and I was like, is that the same thing online? So I checked my phone, it was. I looked it and I just fell in love. Can you guess what it is? This is going to go pride of place on my table because it is a miniature set of seven Christian Louboutin perfumes and like say for example it's the top of them like look at that that is a skull top is that not just Canon it's focusing on my face is that not just me in a perfume and the thing with these they're not sprays these are kind of what I call, like what my nan would have, the old-fashioned ones. 
these are like the ones where you tip them and then you rub them but oh making sure that's on properly goodness gracious guys i don't want that leaking out but yeah they had a set that had 10 in there but i just i liked the original and they are called luby funk luby do luby kiss luby rouge luby raj luby crown and luby croc and they are seven nine mil perfumes and yeah this is definitely going out on my dressing table too and i thought you know what that is something i will probably keep forever and ever but the big bottles of them oh my god were damn right gorgeous so once i've worked my way through that i think i might pick my one favorite and then get the big bottle of that if i am ever so lucky guys i am i'm still very overwhelmed with everything you can probably tell i'm a little bit like in a bubble i i can't say thank you enough please don't think i'm bragging and thank you so so much to everyone who interacted as i say and for all of these lovely lovely gifts guys how is it another year it don't feel like yesterday i was doing this for last year i'm just i'm in i'm in a trance right now as you can tell guys if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what was the best thing here that you thought or what was your favorite not the best because they are all best in there every single one here is the best but what was your favorite for a particular reason i physically can't pick a favorite because every single present is so relevant to me and it just goes to show maybe i am quite an open book eh? maybe i am quite an open book everyone seems to know everything about me but guys take care stay safe as always and i'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video whatever that may be bye guys ha you're probably thinking shannon lee you did not tell us where you was going on holiday and that is correct i forgot again <laughs> I'm sitting here editing and I'm thinking, I didn't tell them and I promised that I would tell them it. Guys, I have not told you where next year's destination is. So, last year was Dominican Republic. This year is Jamaica. And next year, ba, 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 I have booked to go to St. Lucia. I am so excited. St. Lucia is like, up there there is a few more i want to try and do all the caribbean islands but st lucia was the one that i had my eye on there is one that i've got my eye on for the 30th but i don't quite know i think i might maybe skip the caribbean on my 30th and potentially venture elsewhere but yes destination of 2024 guys is st lucia if you did get this far and you didn't skip and you probably if i see the comments being like shan you didn't tell us i did you just didn't wait till the end this is now the end of the video okay so it's kind of like a little surprise st lucia 2024 vlogs will be coming to your screen next september i fly out 26th of september so i'm going a different time i'm normally first week of september or first week of october for the two weeks this well this year next year i'm going end of september into early october but yeah dominican 2022 you've got jamaica vlogs 2023 and st lucia vlogs 2024 bye guys oh.